Okay, so it is the palindrome number 91919. And it was like a huge shift. And I don't even know much about this, but I felt it. It was like you could see things a little clearer. You could breathe a little easier. And I, I know what it is, too. It was Saturn. Not only did Saturn go direct from being retrograde for like nine months or six months or something. But there's like a... Um, there is some other massive shift, something that moved that hadn't moved in like 20 years or some crazy shit. And it was like, oh, okay. So like all these, all kinds of like, all kinds of karmic ties have been released. Karmic ties have been cut. Bonds have been severed. Lessons have been learned. Things have come to a close, to a full completedness, and I can feel it. And it's just, it's going to be an interesting integration. And yeah, and now I am feeling the very swift energies of stuff coming in. So I'm doing a lot of tarot readings um watching tarot readings <laughs> listening to them rather i should say um just trying to enjoy moments with each of my kids because they're very few and far between with uh dad schedule school schedule you know i'm here and it's kind of like a rotation a little bit but then the nights off, I can focus on my spirituality, you know, or other dumb shit like ass pictures or like, you know, other dumb shit. But like, but I got to have a little break time too, you know, I just all work and no play make Jack a doll boy, right? I don't want to be the girl version of that. Um... I have to try to like do something that kind of is more considered fun than just all the work because it is a lot of fucking work. And I like exaggerate on that a little bit. I mean, it is, but I cannot handle it. I don't know how anybody would handle that. Like, Oh, shout out to my friend at the grocery store. Like, you know, people are really standing up for a really long time. No way. I don't know. Cannot. Cannot think about stuff. And like, you know, I don't want to think about unpleasant situations. I got to keep trying to catapult into the future. You know, taking the time away from the kids to work on the passion so that I can build a sustainable business is the goal. Um, I enjoy my makeup business and getting to see my friends because of that and then get extra money. Or actually at this point, I can't even call it extra money. It's literally paying bills. So like that was a big fucking shit fucking storm you know like so the narcissist leaves and it was like he never really gave me all that much like to him he thought he was doing some massive amount but in reality it was like um what they would call a crumb thrower um you know so it was like but obviously any little bit helps you know and It's like the money I would make from my businesses would be um, like money for clothes, money for makeup, money for um, like upgrades on things. Um, 
whatever, good vegan food sometimes. And then, I don't know. It's like, I think I'm good at budgeting money, though, because I've been in many situations like right now where I don't have any money, but it's like, you know, if I ever had to, I could sell some stuff, but I think it's just going to pick back up here. I mean, you know, you can't put your self-worth to um, a number on a bank statement, you know, that's what you got to figure that like most people don't see it that way though, but you know, us deep divers we know the value of a person's soul, you know? We don't really get hung up about that kind of stuff. I mean, having money is fun, but, like, it's no replacement at all for um, a loving relationship. Absolutely not. I would always choose, if I had my, if I had my best friend right here next to me, I would be the happiest thing in the world. There's room for two on my couch. I just want him here. I just want him here sitting next to me, you know, being cute, being my cool boo thing, you know, you don't need to have a lot of money just to sit next to a cat, like next to somebody on a couch. So, you know, it's whatever. I have confidence in my money flow abilities. Money was really never my issue. My issue was just uh, being alone, you know. So, but I've been in way worse situations before. Um, at least now I'm more broke in a nicer neighborhood, you know. Um, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think my hair's a little bit better since the last time. And, you know, I have, like, a lot of opportunity for growth and change and evolving, which is basically my goal. And so I think it's really strange how spirit can, like, tell you to do things, like, um, like, through these affirmations, you know, and it all started with affirmations, like, you can you can look something up on YouTube of like a channeled spirit, um, either channeled like spirit animal or channeled spirit guide, um, and like message from the angels going into your head, you know, like I am worthy of love. I am, you know, whatever you want to say, I am abundant, you know, I am loved. Um, you just gotta, like, say nice things. So, for me, um, I don't think I had ever heard a nice thing ever. So, I don't want to reveal my age or anything. But, yeah, let's see. That's a lot. That's a long time. So, I was basically trying to erase over 20 years of, like, hatred, abuse neglect, emotional neglect, most of all, um, you know, just different situations, violence. I've been through it all. I really have. I've been choked out while pregnant. Um, I've been stabbed. I've been sliced across the face. That's why I have this scar with a beer bottle. Um, by the guys who, like, attempted 